Hi Virgo, how are you? I hope you guys are well. So, this is my third day and third time trying to do your reading. Um, I have tried to do Virgo's reading twice um, and I can get so far and something happens where either the video stops or it's just not working. Um, so I have waited for a few days, kind of took a break um, since yesterday morning and just kind of, that's my child, um, and just kind of relaxed myself and, and let Spirit let me know when it was time to record. So here we are. So this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and I'm Karma, and this is Karma Light Reading. So if you're new, welcome, and I'm so glad to have you here. And if you are a returning Virgo, thank you so much for supporting my channel. Um, this is going to be for October 2019. As I said earlier, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, if you're new, just so you know, I do hold a contest for my subscribers on the 15th and 16th of every month if you're interested. Um, it's a chance for you to win a free 30-minute reading from me. Um, and I do that. I pick two subscribers um, every month to, um, to win. So please go ahead, like, share, comment, and let me know how this resonates for you. And let's get started. Holy Spirit, what messages do we have for Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? For October 2019. Okay, so we're starting out with the Page of Cups. Okay, so there could be some sort of offer. It could be um, a very young offer. Okay, and what I mean by that is, well, several things. But one, it could be somebody who is um, younger than you. Okay. Um, this could be travel, but this is also um, the beginning of, of something, a connection, okay? Um, it is the beginning of a connection. This is a soulmate connection where I feel like you guys uh, may not see each other a lot because I have the Six of Cups in reverse. So this could be somebody from your past where something is over or they're wanting to refill the cup this is something that has ended and and now there's an offer to to bring it back but there's also somebody here i feel like we're getting two energies oh my gosh and we have lovers on the bottom okay um so bear with me because i feel like i'm getting two different energies here so please let me know how this resonates so we definitely have um a water sign here uh cancer scorpio pisces there's some sort of, there's a lot of love that, that wants to be had in this connection, okay? Or there's somebody who wants to give a lot of love to this connection. Um, and I feel like somebody's made an offer or you may have made an offer, Virgo, and it wasn't what you wanted. It didn't, it just didn't, it just doesn't do it for you anymore. But now I'm also feeling the energy of someone else. This person, I feel like, is your soulmate. This, I feel like this is also somebody that you may have dealt with in the past. And I feel like they're also offering you. I don't know why I'm feeling two different energies. So I feel like, and even if, I feel like one of them is flat out offering you or talking to you. And this could be business related too. Somebody's flat out offering you something and the other person is is just kind of there okay and i think that you know that they want something more um but there's some healing that needs to take place to a love connection there's somebody who feels left out in the cold who feels um victimized okay somebody may be losing their place um of residence like where they're living they might not have anywhere to go they're feeling like everything is is lost right now okay this could even be you um but i feel as though somebody is feeling um like they're in a very unhealthy connection somewhere and i this could be job related since we have pentacles as well um but there is also something virgo that is love related so let's look into this a little bit deeper here and let's use a different deck 
and we'll keep going but i want to just look into these real quick because i'm feeling two specific energies here holy spirit please clarify the page of cups with the six of cups in reverse virgo sun moon rising Venus. Okay, so for some of you, this could be a job. A job that is ending or has ended and you are, or you're undecided about walking away from a job, leaving a job and starting something new. There is an offer here. For some of you, this is job related. There is an offer here. <clears throat> that is very a very new offer okay and that's what i meant by young um i still feel like it's in like the early stages of the offer because the page is um young and or immature or you know just hasn't fully um developed or blossomed yet okay and then we have um the six of cups in reverse and this normally represents some type of separation okay um and it doesn't necessarily mean a breakup but it does mean that um you don't have a lot of time to give to this um particular offer or connection if this is business this could even be relationship as well so just place it where it belongs um but it's like somebody doesn't have enough time to really give um, to that connection or they're you're not spending enough time with it or you're not there I just don't feel like you're physically able to be present to whatever this offer is, but you want to be And it's something that you've done in the past So whether it's an old job an old colleague or if this is a relationship, this is somebody that you've been with in the past, okay? And then with the seven of Pentacles in reverse and the hanged man Somebody is, is I, I feel like some of you may have or are trying to leave a job or want to leave a job. Some of you may have recently been let go of a job, but I'm seeing like, this is usually watching the fruits of your labor, a lot of hard work and it's blossoming. Okay. Upside down is there are no more fruits of your labor. Okay. So that's been taken away. You're not, you're not waiting for anything. So I feel like you may be pulling back from something or you're not. You're not um, planting your seeds somewhere, okay? You're not planting your seeds in this connection or in this job. Um, you're undecided about it right now. You're not sure if you should leave or go. Or if some of you have recently been let go, you're undecided about this offer up here, okay? But there is some sort of transition coming your way regarding this because I do have Scorpio on the bottom, the death card. So this is letting me know that something is ending so something new can begin okay and that's spirit's way of explaining that so holy spirit can you please provide clarity for us with the five of pentacles and the lovers for virgo Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay. So, this is faded. This is either a connection in a relationship or a job. I'm getting a very strong pull um, to career right now. And I don't know why, because this is a definite soulmate card to me, but that's where I'm pulling. Now, if this resonates for you as a love relationship, then place it there. I'm just going to tell you what I see. So regarding any situation connection, here's what I see for you. Um, the five of pentacles with the lovers. There is some sort of um, fear or mentality that is of lower vibration. Somebody's very much in their ego. They're very much focusing on um, the lack of something, okay, of this faded connection, okay? So again, this could be a soulmate connection in a love relationship, 
or this can be um, a faded uh, job or a destiny, something that has to do with a soul purpose, okay, um, that is going to um, be very fruitful for you. And, it's, and it is a, a strong commitment, okay? Now, I feel like this is strongly tied to the Page of Cups offer that we talked about earlier that is um, just, like I said, a young offer, okay? It could be that it's not enough for you or it's not really what you wanted it to be, okay? So that's why you're undecided, but there is a transition coming. So to clarify this, uh, Spirit wants you to know that um, you taking this leap of faith and trusting the universe um, is already predestined, okay? This is something that, it's like a, a soul contract. You signed up for this, okay? I'm so sorry, my four-year-old might start crying, but her older sister is with her, so she can handle it. Um, this is a new beginning with something from your past, something that you are reconnecting with, okay? Um, so again, this could be um, a past lover that you had a very strong uh, connection with. Um, and for others of you, this is gonna be a past job or somebody that you have worked with in the past or have talked about um, business in the past, okay? And now you're taking this leap of faith in the universe. The universe is also telling you you really don't have a choice, Virgo, okay? So there's really no point right now for you to be undecided or worried is what I'm hearing, okay? Don't shoot the messenger. Um, but this is, like I said, it's destiny, it's fate, okay? This is the wheel of fortune. This is going to bring you a lot of abundance, a lot. And I'm, and I'm, seeing, I'm seeing money, okay? I'm seeing very stable, but I'm also, Spirit is saying bigger, bigger, and they're going like this. So this is, that's my sign that it's bigger than what you are able to see. Okay, so what you are about to embark on, whether it's with a lover or this new job, um, you cannot fathom what the universe has in store for you. And I feel like, Virgo, this is um, like a payoff from the universe to, to you. This is a blessing. They're paying off all your debt that you have worked so hard through. All the pain that you've been through, all the confusion you've been through, all the endings where you thought things weren't ever going to get better but you stuck through like a virgo does and you kept your you know your your eyes on the prize um so i feel like this is spirit's way of saying october is the month um where things start to transition and the wheel of fortune is now moving in your favor okay so let's see holy spirit what do we have coming in october 2019 wow that was Okay, so we have messages. We have messages coming in, Virgo. Eight of Wands. Something. This is going to happen very quick and sudden for you. Very quick and sudden. I don't even think you're going to be prepared for it. It's like one minute you're in one place and the next minute you're in another, okay? And there's nothing, there's nothing that you can do about it. Because the Wheel of Fortune, so sorry. Because um, the Wheel of Fortune is here, okay? And the Wheel of Fortune is letting us know that this is something that has already been predetermined and set out for you. So I feel like this is going to be happening very sudden, very quick. You might, um, Spirit's saying to ground yourself. Okay, now you're getting, you're, you know, we're talking now and we're, we're, we're seeing what's going to happen. Spirit wants you to ground yourself because once you hit the ground running, you're running. Okay, you're running. Four of Cups in reverse. So as soon as your feet hit the ground, as soon as you realize, Virgo, I'm not confused about this anymore. I'm not contemplating. I'm not wondering. I know what it is that I want and I know where I'm going and what we're doing. As soon as you make that up, make that part up in your mind and just accept it, things just start flowing very quickly. Very quickly. We have the world on the bottom of the deck. So this is a new cycle is beginning. It's now happening. You're now entering that new phase of your journey, okay? So everything, I feel like really, and the death card is really speaking to me, Virgo. I feel like a lot of you have gone through something um, that's really like changed you. And the world and death are speaking to me as, this is a full cycle, full cycle of rebirth. This is... Um, evolution, evolving, okay, leveling up, truly leveling up and, and, and 
raising your consciousness and your your awareness of what's going on and and your perspective i feel changes and here you are on the bottom okay so that's beautiful so let's see holy spirit what do we have coming in october 2019 for virgos oh wow it's like some they want to give us so many messages Wait, i can't take 10 cards virgo sun moon rising and venus thank you So you you may um, this month you may find yourself even though things start going well and things are moving in your favor. I see that some of you and I'm going to clarify here, but I feel like some of you may find yourselves in a position where you feel like you really have to defend your beliefs or your viewpoint or your or where you're coming from on a certain topic. I feel like you in this situation. And this could be the same situation up here where it's like you're transitioning out of and into something new. But there's something here where you feel like if somebody was going against you. I'm seeing petty arguments, petty fights. Okay, it's a five of wands with a seven of wands. Or I'm just seeing like almost like everything that you're saying is being nitpicked on. Okay. And everything that you're saying is being um, headbutted. It's not um, sinking into people or people are just, it's, there's a wall. That's all I'm seeing. It's why I'm having a hard time getting it out is there's just a wall. You, you can only go so far and then you, you can't get any more out or do anything else. So you're meeting a lot of roadblocks. But I feel like Spirit is also saying that so long as you are assertive in a very positive manner and, and kind of hold your ground and your beliefs and set your, you know, make sure that your boundaries are in place and you don't allow people to cross them, I feel like things are going to turn in your favor. And that's what I'm feeling intuitively. So let's take a look um, and clarify here. Yeah, look, we have the five of wands on the bottom too. So just be prepared that there might be some people, you might meet roadblocks. If this is a job or a company, um, maybe specific deadlines won't be able to be met or you might be looking at um, time blockages, okay? Or people saying something can't be done in a certain amount of time or just resistance somewhere, but I don't see there actually being um, resistance, okay? Okay, so let's see here, spirit. Oops, let's not do it that way. Please clarify the eight of wands with the four cups in reverse. Holy Spirit for Virgo. Be careful not to become, you're very anxious. That's why two things are moving so fast. Be careful not to become <clears throat> so stressed out or so um, caught up in something that hasn't happened yet that you cause yourself mental anguish um, or anxiety. It's not worth it because I, f I feel like you could possibly um, become overwhelmed, okay, this month with, with something. But... Just because once you make up your mind, it might seem very scary, but spirit is reminding you that that's okay. This is meant to be. This is a cycle. This is something that has to happen and that you have to go through. And I feel like you can build back your inner strength um, by continuing to move forward. Holy Spirit. Please clarify the five of wands with the seven of wands. Thank you. Mm. Yeah, I just feel like something will be, um, this is Pisces energy, by the way. So you do have a lot of water here. We have Leo here as well. But I feel like There's going to be, there's something that, like I said, it's the same thing. Somebody is going to be going against an idea or something that you say. And it's almost like you're, you're, you have to stand your ground. 
you have to stand your ground. Communication might be off with somebody. So there's going to be some arguments. There might be some petty um, disagreements. And I have judgment in reverse here. So there could be a situation. And now I feel like we're kind of pulling away from the business um, feeling. I feel like this is something separate. Okay. I feel like that's why the world is here. Because they're ending this part, this beginning part that we talked about. Now, there's something separate here where I'm seeing there's arguments, okay? I'm seeing a, a lack of communication, disagreements, okay? Not being able to see somebody's point of view or understanding where they're coming from. Or somebody's just very frustrated, okay? This could, and this, this is Pisces energy over here. But I also feel like somebody is going to be um, hurt or disappointed. And Virgo, I, I actually don't think it's you, for some of you, it may be, but I'm getting a stronger feeling that it could be somebody else that you're talking to or dealing with where you make the decision, um, you know, not to pull back or not go in that direction. Um, it could be that there's somebody else because I do feel two different energies up here and this is you telling the other person like, no, there's something else going on or it's you turning down a job offer. But I do feel, yeah, because you're trying to restore balance. This is what was on the bottom of the deck. So six of pentacles. You're trying to restore balance within your life. So I feel like this area over here with the moon in reverse and the ace of swords in reverse with judgment in reverse, okay, is, again, this could be arguments. This could be communication that just you're not, it's not conducive to your growth. Okay, Virgo? Um... And you let it go. And I feel like you're the one that shuts it down here with judgment in reverse because you're trying to restore balance in your life. You don't you don't have time to deal with something that isn't going to bring you um, what it is that you want. And here you go. Final message, Virgo. So again, just make sure that you are reflecting, okay, within. Um, think before you speak, which you know how to do that. But I feel like that's what's coming through here as well, that there's going to be some communication, but just come from it, you know, do a lot of introspection and just kind of really go within, connect with yourself um, prior to, to, what's the word I'm looking for? Connect with yourself prior to falling apart or getting so worked up over a situation or getting very worried about something or letting your thoughts run wild. Um, okay, so really take the time to center yourself throughout all of this because there is no need for you um, to panic or feel overwhelmed because the overall message here at the end is balance. Okay, and we also have at the beginning um, page of cups. So to me, it's this new offer is here to balance out your life and to, to kind of turn the tables, so to speak. Okay, Virgo, that's all that I'm getting from Spirit today for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. If this resonates, please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I hope to see you back next week. Bye.